Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also, leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to test for uh, the order that the um, uh, methods on a uh, mock are invoked. This is basically called verification in order. So let's create a test method to illustrate it. And uh, let's call it um, test the invocation uh, order. And as usual, let me just grab the um, the stub method and uh, the call to the generic service. Um, so again, I'm just building on a previous example where I'm utilizing a generic service object that uh, takes three mocks or three objects that I'm mocking here, DAO1, Logger1, and Logger2. And this generic service uh, I'm calling fetch book by ID. If you look at implementation, uh, it calls fetch book by ID on DAO, which returns a book. And this is why I need to stub it because I actually need a, an actual book object to then uh, get the title and log it to a standard out and standard error. Okay, so um, after I call my uh, method, so I'll let me just change these things here to become a bit more um, flexible. So now I'm gonna uh, return the book for any int, and I'm gonna call fetch book by ID with uh, ID one and another one with ID two. The first thing you need to do is you need to get an in order verifier. So there is here a um, a factory method uh, where you pass the mock and it gives you back um, an in order verifier. Let's call it single uh, in order uh, just because we're going to be doing multiple um, in order verifier shortly. And then um, what you do is you just get the, the in order verifier and you call verify on the DAO that you're interested and obviously the method. So so what I'm asserting here uh, is that the um, is that the fetch book by ID, okay, with parameter one, it's called before the fetch book by ID with parameter two, okay, which obviously it's going to happen because I'm calling, uh, you know, passing first with ID one and ID two, okay. So let's run this and make sure that it passes. So as you can see, the test passes. Um, so that's pretty much what you need to do if you want to assert, um, you know, to verify, uh, you know, invocation orders, right? You need to have, there is this extra step of creating this in order object, uh, as opposed to just, you know, doing, uh, you know, verify DAO, this doesn't care about the order. Okay. So obviously I'm, I'm here playing with a single, um, mock, um, because my generic service utilizes uh, three mocks, then obviously I can, um, you know, play with um, calls, um, you know, basically the order of invocation across multiple mocks. So let me use the logger one and logger two, and let's create our uh, in order verifier. Let's just to distinguish, call it multiple in order. Okay. And here, you know, again, I'm going to use my multiple in order and verify that the call to logger one, it happens um, with any string before the call to the logger to mock. And remember that logger one is mapped to the out logger and the out logger logs to standard output, whereas the logger two is mapped to error logger, which logs to standard error. This is why the calls here are different. So what I'm doing here is I am basically asserting that the um, logger one uh, method uh, log to out is called first before the call to the other mock logger two is is um, is called. So let's uh, run this and make sure that it works. And as you can see, the test passes. And lastly, we, you can mix. Uh, so the, see, the first case here is a single mock, multiple uh, methods on the single mock. Here is um, verification ordered across multiple mocks. Uh, but we can have obviously do, you know, mix everything together where we're going to utilize the first mock. So first we want the um, calls on the first DAO, uh, on the first mock, which is the DAO, then on logger one and on logger two. 
and again let's introduce this uh, let's just call order doesn't really matter and ob obviously what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab the calls here and the calls to this guy here obviously you will need to um, uh, you know replace this to order okay all right so here we're putting everything together where we're saying um, you know uh, verify the order that the, the call to the O at first followed by logger one and logger two uh, and within the same uh, mock make sure that these calls happen uh, you know in in order okay so this is basically putting everything together let's run this and see what we get so as you see the test passes okay so uh, one word of caution that I want to say here be careful you know um, playing too much with these this may lead to over specified um, interaction tests um, which may make the test slightly hard to maintain because uh, you know implicitly you are uh, uh, binding the test with the implementation of a method so be careful you know when uh, you know if you over specify the test because you may find yourself you know having to uh, change the test often if you change the implementation okay so just one word of caution here um, this is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com thanks for watching